From this moment on, we are improvising a new mission. Oh, come on. We'll, Sorry, but we'll get somebody to look at that. Ball for our hands How do we get our people home? They are here. We turn them around, straight back, yes. direct the board. No, oh, no, no, sir. No, sir, no, sir. We get them on a free return trajectory. It's the option with the fewest question marks for sight. I agree with Jerry. Use the moon's gravity, slingshot them around. No, the LEM will not support three guys for that amount of time. It barely holds I mean, we've got to do a direct abort. We do an about face, we bring the guys right home right now. Get them back soon, no, absolutely. We don't even know if the Odyssey's engine's even working, and if there's been serious damage to this spacecraft... They blow up and they die. That is not the oh, argument. Oh, We're talking about time, not whether or not these guys... Oh, I'm not going to sugarcoat this for you. Hey, hold it. Let's hold it down. Let's hold it down, people. The only engine we've got with enough power for a direct the board is the SPS on the service module. What well, Lovell has told us, it could have been damaged in an explosion, so let's consider that engine dead. We light that thing up, could blow the whole works. It's just too risky. We're not gonna take that chance. In fact, the only thing the command module is good for is re-entry, so that leaves us with the LEM, which means free return trajectory. And once we get the guys around the moon, we'll fire up the LEM engine, make a long burn, pick up some speed, and get them home as quick as we can. Gene, I I'm wondering what the, what the Grumman guys think about this. We can't make any guarantees. We designed the limb to land on the moon, not fire the engine out there for course correction. Well, unfortunately, we're not landing on the moon, are we? I don't care what anything was designed to do. I care about what it can do. So let's get to work. Let's lay it out, OK? Capcom? Uh, flight, he says it'll be ready in time. After this burn, we've got to build some time in the flight plan for them to get some sleep. Run it by the FAO. I run it by the FAO. Do we know how long we're going to fire that PC? You specifically wanted a quote from a flight director. Who wanted a quote? The president. The president? Nixon. He wants odds. We are not losing the crew. Gene, I got to give them odds. Five to one against, three to one. I don't think they're that good. We are not losing those men. Control, how long are they going to have to burn the engine at PC plus two? Look, turn them three to one. So you're telling me you can only give our guys 45 hours? That brings them to about there. Gentlemen, that's not acceptable. Gene, Gene, you got to talk about the power here. Whoa, whoa, guys, power is everything. Power is everything. What do you mean? Without it, they don't talk to us, they don't correct their trajectory, they don't turn the heat shield around. I, we gotta turn everything off, now. They're not gonna make it to re-entry. What do you mean, everything? With everything on, the LEM draws 60 amps. At that rate, in 16 hours, the batteries are dead, not 45. And so's the crew, we gotta get them down to 12 amps. How many? You can't run a vacuum cleaner on 12 amps, John. You gotta turn off. We have to turn off the radars, cabin heater, instrument displays, the guidance computer, the whole smack. Whoa, guidance computer? What if they need to do another burn? Gene, they won't even know which way they're pointed. The more time we talk down here, the more juice they waste up there. I've been looking at the data for the past hour. That's the deal? That's the deal. Okay, John. The minute we finish the burn, we'll power down the limb. All right. Now, in the meantime, we're going to have a frozen command module up there. In a couple days, we're going to have to power it up, use nothing but the re-entry batteries. Never yeah, been tried before. Hell, we've never even simulated it before, Gene. Well, we're going to have to figure it out. I want people in our simulators working re-entry scenarios. I want you guys to find every engineer who designed every switch, every circuit, every transistor, and every light bulb that's up there. Then I want you to talk to the guy in the assembly line who actually built the thing. Find out how to squeeze every amp out of both of these goddamn machines. I want this mark all the way back to Earth with time to spare. We never lost an American in space. We're sure as hell not gonna lose one on my watch. Failure is not an option.